In this video, we're going to talk about signs you have an INTP personality. Hey, before starting this video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. INTPs are abstract thinkers who are enthralled by reasoning, structures, and architecture. They are preoccupied with philosophy and seek out the universal law that underpins all they observe. They want to comprehend life's unifying concepts with all of their depth. INTPs are distant, logical observers who, since they are so deeply immersed in thought, may seem indifferent to the world around them. They spend a lot of time in their minds discussing ideas, making connections, and trying to figure out how things work. Life is an ongoing investigation into the complexities of the world for the architect. The INTP personality style is one of the most common of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality styles, accounting for just 3 to 5 percent of the population in the United States. As a consequence, INTPs are often misunderstood and may feel isolated in society. INTPs, on the other hand, are talented people who are recognized for their inventiveness, strong intelligence, and insightful insights. In reality, popular INTPs have been credited with significant breakthroughs throughout history, including Bill Gates, Albert Einstein, and Isaac Newton. INTPs are known for being deeply absorbed in their own thoughts and for being offbeat and unorthodox to others. The INTP's mind is a very busy location, and their inward orientation may cause them to overlook minor details such as home decor or suitable clothing. They are uninterested in small talk and can become enthralled when discussing science, mathematics, computers, or the universe's larger theoretical problems. The architect is more interested in the philosophy behind it all, so reality is always of only passing interest to them. INTPs are known for their precision in expressions, and they use carefully selected words to express complicated concepts. Even in the most informal of discussions, they insist on academic rigor and can readily point out contradictions in thought or reasoning. For an INTP who is more interested in questioning reasoning, societal niceties can fall by the wayside. And they may offend others by subjecting their deeply held principles and convictions to rational scrutiny. Here's a list of the signs you have an INTP personality. Number 10. Introverted Thinking This feature examines how people process knowledge from the outside world. INTPs demonstrate this by attempting to comprehend how things function. They often deconstruct larger objects or concepts to examine the individual components and see how they match and work together. INTPs INTPs are rational and productive thinkers by nature. They like to have a thorough understanding of something before expressing an opinion or taking action. INTPs prefer to be in communities where there is unity. INTPs can be very outgoing when they are around people with whom they are familiar and relaxed despite their introversion. INTPs, on the other hand, shut down their emotions and fail to communicate with others in stressful circumstances. They prefer to rely on reasoning rather than emotions when they they are stressed. Number nine, you are tolerant and open-minded. Even if you put ideas to the test, you choose to embrace people as they are rather than change them. You strive to be considerate of others and allow them the opportunity to express themselves, even though you may be unconsciously tactless at times. If they are causing serious damage to themselves, you should not mess with other people's lifestyle decisions and personality realities. You crave personal freedom and liberty. And you you want to give it to others as well. Number eight, when you were young, you always felt like you were getting scolded. In all of your interactions with people, you crave radical honesty. It's not the style to beat around the bush or walk on eggshells to make people feel at ease. You probably felt as if no matter how hard you tried, you were still on the wrong side of the conversation when you were a child. They want to be spoon-fed their thoughts with a huge lump of sugar. If you constantly feel confused and reprimanded despite your best efforts, this can be detrimental to your self-esteem. Number seven, you take intellectual matters seriously. You devour philosophy, theology, psychology, evolutionary theory, and everything else that piques your interest in 
books, blogs, and podcasts. INTPs are perhaps the most intellectually profound of all types. Isabel Briggs Myers, who helped develop the Myers-Briggs personality system, wrote in her books, Gifts Differing. You're intellectually playful, quirky, and open-minded, so intelligence cultivation isn't all serious for you. You have a childlike curiosity and admiration for the universe. You're excited to dissect concepts that others take for granted. When it comes to analyzing principles and values, you can be ruthless and you hold very little sacred. You don't understand why other people stick to theories that have been proved to be illogical. Number six, INTPs are not as emotional as they appear. INTPs are often portrayed as stoic and emotionless, similar to Spock. When making decisions, they use their heads rather than their hearts. As a consequence, their communication with others has been characterized as often harsh and tactless. Furthermore, then, it comes to interpersonal relationships. INTPs have a tendency to put off dealing with problems that irritate them for too long before they eventually crack without warning. This propensity to ignore their feelings in order to retain a reasonable perspective on what matters logically may be harmful to themselves. They become unpredictable as repressed tension rises to a feverish pitch, and they end up making the spectacle they were trying to escape in the first place. You're a sensitive and emotional individual at heart. Since your feeling mechanism is underdeveloped, you find it difficult to express your emotions. Since your mind is a logic machine, it may feel like your feelings are the stumbling block to its otherwise flawless operation. INTPs can get around this by considering feelings as a separate subject to be tested. Many INTPs become excellent listeners and show great compassion and tolerance for those they care for. Number five, authority doesn't impress you. People who demand high levels of respect simply because of their status irritates you, and you don't care about authority acquired by popularity, office, or status. You examine each person separately. What innovative concepts do they have to offer? What is the strength of their arguments? If they have something insightful to suggest, you can be fascinated by a fast food worker or a college professor similarly. You, on the other hand, have no desire to cooperate with authorities. Number four, career paths. INTPs also excel in science-related professions because they appreciate theoretical and abstract concepts. They are logical and good at reasoning, but they are still good at thinking creatively. INTPs can be very self-reliant, placing a high value on personal rights and autonomy. They may be exasperated by authority figures in some cases, especially those who they believe are attempting to undermine their ability to think and act independently. INTPs perform well in professions because they have a lot of versatility and freedom as a result of this. Number three, you are plagued by insecurity when you're extremely stressed. You might have a grip stress reaction if you've been nervous and overwhelmed for a long time. When this happens, extroverted feeling your inferior feature takes the wheel of your life. You become preoccupied with what other people think about you, whether they like or dislike you, and whether or not you are important to someone. You may be concerned that your closest friends despise you or may desert you. You might reach out for people who are looking for a sense of belonging and validation. Number two, you're seen as difficult to know. Since your thought side is internally oriented, you are often underestimated or overlooked for your true capabilities. People are more likely to notice the intuitive side with you. They'll notice how you create ideas and alternatives as well as how you can argue an argument from any perspective. Your razor-sharp logic, on the other hand, is always hidden in the background, shared only with people in whom you have complete confidence. People can find you enigmatic and difficult to pin down because your judgments are more internalized than outwardly articulated. Number one, relationships. INTPs tend to spend much of their time alone. Introverts must expend energy in social environments, unlike extroverts who obtain energy from engaging with a large group of people. Two INTPs may feel the need to spend some time alone to refresh and find balance after being around a lot of people. INTPs 
are warm and engaging with their close family and friends despite the shyness with people they don't know well. INTPs have a tendency to live in their heads, making them difficult to understand. Even in romance, they always withhold their innermost thoughts and feelings until the other person has proved themselves worthy of hearing them. One thing to keep in mind is that while INTPs enjoy romance in the form of a committed relationship, they do not engage in games. Be truthful and frank. Since INTPs have a hard time understanding other people's emotional needs, you may need to be very clear about what you want and expect in this area. Since INTPs have a hard time expressing their own emotions, you may need to pay attention to your partner's subtle signals. So what do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. And thanks for watching.